I'm often asked, with all of the four C's, which one do you think is the most important? That of all of those attributes of mental toughness, great composure, great concentration, great confidence, great commitment, if you could give one of those to an athlete for a successful career, what would it be? Well, I would definitely say the commitment part, because when you talk about mental toughness, you have to be committed. Right. Because if you're not committed to something, that's where you find someone that you would look at or coach and say, well, he's not mentally tough. Generally, it comes back to a commitment. When somebody is committed to something, that commitment allows them to take themselves to different levels. Right. And there are certain players, as it relates to a work ethic, where someone can absorb a work ethic up here and another one can only absorb a work ethic here because they're not committed. You know, and that's the one thing I've always admired about our troops in the military. There's an incredible commitment there when they go out to do their job, yeah. when they train. Yeah. And if you're not committed, you're not going to get through. And there's a lot of players that have been able to rely on their individual talent to take them to a certain point. But when that talent level is evened off and they're lining up playing against a player that's just as quick, just as strong, just as fast, has just as good as skill levels, the separation point to me is how committed are they to being a good teammate, making the people around them better, and doing whatever they have to do in the course of the game to find a way to win. Those are the guys that have, to me, um, are, are guys that become exceptional. When you start talking about a Kobe Bryant or a Michael Jordan or a Dirk Nowitzki or you know, a, a Dwayne Wade or LeBron James, those guys have incredible commitment that goes along with their individual talent. And talent's going to take you so far, but when you're talking about doing something great, winning championships, winning league championships, national championships, NBA championships, uh, NHL championships, Major League Baseball championships, there is an internal commitment that goes on by each individual and by a team. And I think it all starts with that because when you're committed, your concentration is going to be better, you're going to be more composed, and you're going to be more confident. I want to draw a picture of the four C's relative to a model of a three-legged stool. If you can just picture a three-legged stall uh, right here, a virtual stall standing right here, we've got three legs and we've got the seat. Of those four components, each of the four components of a three-legged stall can equate to one of those Cs. Composure and concentration and confidence. And for right now, we'll put commitment as the seat of the stall. I'm a firm believer that when one of those four Cs is missing in an athlete, in the midst of competition, especially under pressure. Let's just say the athlete had great confidence and great concentration, great commitment, but for whatever reason, that athlete loses his or her poise, loses his or her composure. The other C's are guaranteed to fall. Just like a model of a three-legged stall, if we whip away one of the legs of a three-legged stall, the balance or integrity of that stall is compromised. It is almost impossible to separate the four C's. But just for the sake of the question, if we could isolate just one of those four C's and elevate it just a little bit above the others, what would that be? Well, as my model alluded to, uh, the, the answer, I believe the most important component of a three-legged store is the seat. And that would be our commitment. Our commitment drives everything in our career. It drives how hard we work on our skills, it determines how hard we work on our athletic ability, our speed, agility, quickness, neuromuscular efficiency. It determines how hard we work in our cardiorespiratory conditioning, the attention we play to nutrition, and certainly it determines how hard we work on the mental side of the game, how well we develop into a great pressure performance, uh, performer so we can be at our best when it counts the most. Commitment will always be the most important of those four C's. But at the heart of commitment is an athlete willing to generate a phenomenal plan of action for their entire career. For, but for right now, I want to talk about the mental side. As is commonly said, sometimes things don't go according to plan because that plan didn't exist in the first place. What is our plan for the mental side of the game?